there. Today I wanted to show you this really cool little website called classroomscreen.com. Um, it is a pretty nifty little tool and I think that you will like to use it. So it's an, a free online app that you can just open up on any web browser, although Chrome seems to work best. And then uh, this is your background and then down here you have your widgets that you can choose. So I'm just going to go through these real quick. Uh, language, I would just leave that alone. I mean, you can change your languages if you want to, but uh, just leave it on American English. Background, you can choose a myriad of different backgrounds. To close each of these widgets, you just click on it again. Uh, a random name generator. So you can put in the names of students in your classroom um, and then click choose and it will randomly choose one of them. It also has a random dice generator on there. You can do one dice at a time, two, four, up to three. So uh, you can see that could be pretty useful. Um, now this is not a, a website that will stay the same every time you open it up. So if you do put names in here, then the next time you open it up, those names would be gone. So a way that you could keep that is just to have a sticky in your background where you have a list of names. You can copy and paste them each time really quickly. So uh, that's a pretty handy tool. There's a sound level monitor. So you just click start and then a pop-up will probably come up to say, would you like to allow? And then uh, yes, if you would like to allow uh, the, um, the website to use your, your microphone. And then you just click on what you want your sensitivity to be and so on. And then as your classroom gets louder and louder, you saw how it turned from green to red and the louder I get, oh no, it turns to red. So uh, that's pretty nifty little tool. This QR code right here is just a uh, QR that will go to classroomscreen.com. It does not go to this screen. It just opens up a new uh, website in a different browser. Um, you can create a drawing that takes up the whole background, and this is pretty nifty. Uh, you can make it white, you can make it black, you can show the background behind it, but still draw on top of it if you want to use the whole screen. There's also a grid that you can use, or um, I believe there's another grid down there at the bottom, but I can't get to it for it right now. And then another drawing tool is a smaller version. So if you just want to have a small drawing, then you can just click on that and it'll pop open. You can also create text. So just type in whatever you want your class to see. You can also uh, copy and paste images and then paste them in here into the text editor or the drawing. Um, another widget is these work symbols, which would be really good for group work. So if you want them to uh, be silent, then there's a visual reminder. If it's okay time to whisper, there's one there. Okay time to ask your neighbor a question or it's a work together time. There's a traffic light. So this might be great to use during uh, reading time. So if the kids are not allowed to come bother you because you are working with a group, then might have this red signal up if it's uh, ask three before me or something like that you might have that yellow and then if it's okay to uh, come talk to the key teacher or do do whatever it is that you want you can use that green light there is a timer or you can use a stopwatch so if you are trying to figure out how much reading stamina kids have mastered you can click start and then the first time a student starts talking instead of reading or writing or whatnot, you click this lap button and you can see exactly when it was when students started getting off task and then, you know, stop it. And then of course there's the timer that you can set and press play. There it goes. And then finally, um, there's a clock that you can display and you can put on 12 hours or 24 hours and uh, display the calendar as well. Oh, and there is one more thing that I want to show you. Um, other than you can make this full screen, but you can also uh, do a little exit poll. So if you want to ask the class an important question,
then you can just type it in there and then have the kids, the kids would have to come up to your smart board or your computer one at a time and then put in their answers. There's the one kid that wasn't listening and then there's everybody else. And then you can show the results and it makes an instant graph for you. So I wanted to share those tools with you today and just uh, let you know classroomscreen.com is a pretty cool tool to use. I hope it's helpful for you.